Welcome back aliens, my name is Navin Reddy and today we are going to talk about Torrent. Last week I went to one of the college for a seminar and during seminar I was talking about Windows versus Linux. I was informing them, you know, as a programmer you should be using Linux instead of using Windows because Linux gives you lots of tools which will improve your programming skills. And then some of the people got confused from where to download Linux and how to install it. So I've given them some tips. You can download it from uh, internet, uh, from Google. You can search for uh, Ubuntu. It will take you to the official website of Ubuntu and you can download it from there. Or you can go to Torrent and you can download Torrent from there. You can download Torrent Client and you can download it. Now, most of them were not knowing what is Torrent and then some people were debating with me that Torrent is illegal. And yes, uh, you know, if you, according to some uh, news channel, new web, some websites, they are informing that Torrent is illegal. And even if you go to the websites of torrent based websites like the Pirate Bay and they have those notice there, right? So torrent is legal or is it illegal? So in this session, in this video, we're going to talk about what is torrent and how to use it, right? So, okay, so let's get started. So what we have, first of all, let's talk about torrent. What is torrent? Now torrent is simply a protocol. Okay, now if you don't know this protocol means, protocol simply means some rules and regulations. See, the entire internet is working with protocols, right? We have HTTP protocol, we have FTP protocol, we have uh, Telnet protocol, we have Torrent protocol. Now what happens is for different type of service, we have different protocols, right? Example, when you talk about websites, when you browse a website, you always use HTTP protocol. When you download files, we use FTP protocol because when you deploy a website, you, you, you use some files in a software using which you upload a file, right? Which is FTP. Then you share your screen with someone, that is your Telnet protocol remote sharing, right? So we have different services. Every service have a different protocol. In the same way, we have one more protocol which is called as torrent. Now, what is different in torrent compared to FTP or any other protocol? See, what happens is, let's imagine you have a server and you have a client, right? So we, if you have these two things, server and a client, what happens is every time a client requests for a file, request goes to server and server gives the response. The problem is, uh, there are some people they cannot afford server cost. Example, if I, I want to upload a file, I want to provide the file to the entire world. Maybe I have some software, I have some videos with me. I want to distribute them to the entire world. What I can do is I can upload that on one server and you can download it from anywhere. The problem is I have to maintain the entire cost, right? And it will be one way communication. There will be one server, one client, and it will be not that fast, right? So, so, okay, if you want to achieve this thing, we use FTP there. So we have a client, client will download the file from the server using FTP protocol, right? The thing is, uh, we have one more thing which is called as Telnet. The advantage would, uh, sorry, not, not Telnet, Torrent. The advantage of using Torrent is, instead of having one server, one client, what if every server, every machine becomes a server? I mean, think about this, instead of having one server, can we have 10 servers? But you will think, okay, we cannot afford one server, how can you afford 10 servers. What if these 10 servers are not actually, not actually servers, they are normal machines? Uh, this is the same like distributed systems, right? We have, we are distributing the files. The same thing is happening here. Let's say I have a friend named as Sam. Now Sam has a file. Now the moment I download that file, so instead of only Sam as an uploader, I can also be uploader, right? Now if someone else want that file, maybe Hirsch want that file, what Hirsch can do is, Hirsch can download the same file from, from Sam and from Naveen, right? Now the same file is there with three people. Now we can have the fourth person, he can download the file from three people. The awesome thing is, we will not, I mean, we all will be having chunks of files, right? So let's say if our file can be divided into three parts, one part will be downloaded from Sam, second part will be downloaded from Naveen, and third part will be downloaded from Hirsch, right? So fourth machine will get files from these three machines, right? That's how Torrent works. It's a peer-to-peer -peer network. Right? We don't need a server, we don't need a client here. Anyone can be a server, anyone can be an uploader, anyone can be a downloader. Right? That's why we call it a peer-to-peer -peer network. Now if you're thinking, uh, do we really use peer-to-peer -peer network? We, we do use it. Approximately 4% of the traffic, the web traffic is done with the help of peer-to-peer. -peer. Now you can judge it, uh, uh, I mean, that's a, to that's a torrent uh, traffic, okay, 4%. Just imagine how busy it is. In the entire world, there's so much, uh, they, there are lots of people, they are using tor torrent protocol. Okay, so FTP is simply, we have a server, we have a client. In torrent, what we have is, we have multiple machines and they can share data, right? And each machine can upload, each machine can download with the help of torrent protocol. 
But the question arises: to use any protocol, we need some client, right? Example, if you want to use HTTP protocol, we, we require a browser. If you want a FTP protocol, we need some software, right? Example, Internet Download Manager. We have lots of downloading softwares, right? How can we use torrent? So to use a torrent protocol, we require a torrent client. And that torrent client is you know, one of the very famous client we have is MicroTorrent, which is also uTorrent, which we call it as. Uh, we have BitTorrent right uh, we also have Vuze. i don't know how to pronounce it Vuze. Uh, there are lots of uh, available there are lots of torrent client available on the internet you can download one of them and you can use it right so using this this software you can download the files right okay now we have some special keywords here okay one of the keywords we have learned is uh, torrent which is a protocol the second uh, keyword which is called as uh, cedars and leeches now, if you do, if you have, if you have ever went to any website where you can download torrent file, you can see that symbol there. We have cedars and we have leeches. Now, what what do you mean by cedars and leeches? Uh, what happens is whenever you talk about an uploader, let's say if I, if I want to share the file with the entire world, if I upload a file, so my machine is a seed. Okay, so because I'm seeding it, I'm providing you the files, so I'm the seeder. But now if you are downloading it, you are a leecher because you are fetching the file, right? You're downloading the file. So when you download, you, you are a leecher. And when you, when I upload a file, I become a seeder. But then can you down, can you download the file and upload the file at the same time? Just think about this. If you are downloading a file of 1 GB and out of 1 GB, 100 MB is already, down, already downloaded. Can you share that same 100 down, same 100 MB with someone else? It is possible, right? So at the same time, a leecher can also seed, right? And that's why, you know, when you download something from using torrent, you, there's also an uploading process which is going on, right? So seeders who only seeds, who only provide uploading part and leechers who download and maybe they have a choice of uploading as well, right? Now, some people do call it as peers as well. I don't know why they name this peer, but that what makes sense here is leech, right? Seeds and leechers. So seeders are uploaders and leechers are downloaders, right? So that's how, that's how the entire thing works here. Again, you can control the bandwidth, how much you want to share, right? <clears throat> now, that's about torrent, how exactly torrent works. So, we have multiple machines, they are communicating with each other. But then question arises, let's say uh, we have 10 machines and these 10 machines situated in different, different locations. One in Mumbai, one in New York, one in Dubai, one in Singapore. So, let's say we have all these machines situated at different, different places. Now, if you want to download a file, how would you know that from where to download these files? Right. So what we have is we have a we have a database called as trackers. We'll, in that database, we'll be having all the track files. So whoever want to seed, they will be having their entry there. The moment you download that file, it will download because of that tracker database or data file, right? And now question arises: How would you know, or how will you get that uh, that tracker file? Let's say I want to share my videos. Okay. So for Java, I have one eighty three videos. And I want to share those videos instead of sharing on YouTube, I want to share in a different way. So I'm a seeder. So let's say I'm the seeder. We have also Hirsch here who is a seeder. Let's say we have one more machine, Sam machine. So we three are seeders. How would you know that we three are seeders? So again, we have a file in which we'll be mentioning all the seeders. Okay. Uh, it is also done with the help of hash code. So we, so every chunk of data will have a hash code and that will be tracked. But then question arises from where you will get that file? And that's why we have this awesome websites like we have extra torrent, we have big Tor uh, we have, uh, oh, okay, we have Pirate Bay. Okay, I'm not promoting any of the torrent channel here. Okay, my main aim is not to promote uh, all these channels, just that I'm, I'm giving you those sequence, right? We have Kikash Torrent, if you remember. Now that, uh, that website is banned and the owner of that channel, owner of that website is now in jail, right? Uh, if you remember, I don't know, he, may, he might got a bail, but then, that there's a serious issue, right? But then there are lots of websites available. So when you go to those websites, when you search for a file, you get a torrent file, right? And when you open that torrent file with a particular client, example, if you have a big torrent, if you have a U torrent, you can open that file and it will download all the things, right? That's how the thing works. But now question arises, is it legal? Um, the answer is yes. Torrent is not illegal. The torrent protocol is not illegal. What is illegal is sharing the data which is which has a copyright. See, till now I'm talking about all three things, right? Example, my videos are completely free. Uh, then we have other things. With example, Ubuntu. Ubuntu is free for all, right? Those things, sharing those things on torrent websites are completely legal. 
What is illegal is sharing the copyrighted content. Example, as a filmmaker, if uh, I'm, I'm spending so much money, if, if you remember, uh, the Game of Thrones, one of the seasons of Game of Thrones, even before releasing on the channel, the official, the official channel of the Game of Thrones, which is HBO, before that, they have, they, the entire series was available on torrent. Now just imagine, these people have spent so much of money making that show and what we do? We, we watch it for free. Famous musicians, they make, they compose a music. What we do? We download those things for free. There are people, they are spending their entire life, maybe five to six years for building a software and what we do? We crack it and we use it. Is it is it a good thing? It's a bad thing, right? It's not just bad thing, it's illegal. If you are doing that on Torrent, because Torrent is the biggest platform to share all these things, not just a uh, pirated content, also pornography. I mean, just imagine how much content, how much adult content we are sharing on internet. Again, is it right or wrong? That's not the main issue. It's just that the uh, children nowadays, they are getting exposed to these things. So in some sense, using this website is not a good thing. But then if you can use Torrent in a good way, it will be a very, very, uh, very amazing thing. So what I feel is instead of banning those channels, so banning those websites, if you can just you know, filter all the extra content which are, which are not needed. So instead of banning the entire website like Kick, uh, Cat, which is Kickass Torrent, what you can do is you can remove the content which is not needed. In fact, I guess they have done now. So uh, there's, a, there's a search engine called as torrent2.eu. I'm not sure about the website. You can just go to the website. If you search for some copyright content, it will show you that this the content, the filtered, is applied and you ha they have removed all the copyright content. Especially if you if you search for Bollywood movies, you might not find it, right? So they are implementing those things there. Yeah, so that's about torrent. So first thing is torrent is free, it's good and uh, it's legal. The only illegal thing is sharing the copyright content. The second thing is, uh, is it safe? Now when you, when you, when you talk about safety, it's, a, it's about viruses, it's about malware. Now, especially if you are using Windows machine, uh, whatever you do, you have a risk of getting a virus in your machine, right? If you attach a pen, if you attach a pen drive, it, there's a risk there. Same goes with Torrent. According to a survey, I guess thirty percent of all the content on Torrent are they have malware. Okay, so just imagine uh, when you download a download a free content from the Torrent, it might have some some virus. Now question arise, should, should we use torrent? No, when you have, when you know that they have lots of virus malwares, you heard about ransomware, right? It, it might also be there. Now question arise, should I use, should I use torrent to download Ubuntu? Because that's what I shared, uh, I was talking to my, my people, right? You should use torrent, you, you should use torrent to download Ubuntu. The problem is what if the, the Ubuntu version which you download has a virus? Now to verify this, we have certain tools. What you can do is you can download the Ubuntu from the official website or not from the official website, maybe from Torrent and go to official website. Official website will have, will have some hash value. Take that hash value, can get the hash value of the software which you have downloaded and copy it. I mean, try to match it. If they both are same, you're good to go. Again, there are different softwares using which you can verify if the file which you got from the uh, uh, from the torrent is actually uh, 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 original copy or a uh, malware copy, right? Uh, especially with Windows, uh, I I'm sure most of you are using pirate copy of Windows, especially especially countries like okay, I'm not, I don't want to name any country here, but then we are using pirate content. Uh, the th the pro only problem is if you are if you are downloading Windows 8 or Windows 10, how can you be sure that the OS which you are using itself is not a malware? Maybe there are lots of components in the, in the OS. Which, has, which are affected and what we do, we install this uh, pirated antivirus. I mean, can you imagine, you don't buy antivirus, you install the pirated antivirus and that's where the issue is created, right? The, maybe the antivirus itself is, it's, is malware. So, okay, think about it. And that's why I always say, use Linux based OS, maybe Mac, maybe Linux, Ubuntu, right? Stop using Windows. <laughs> it is that easy. Okay, anyway, nothing against Windows here. The important thing is about Torrent, right? So I hope you got the idea how Torrent works. And if you have any more concerns on Torrent, let me know in the comment section. And that's it. Uh, do click on the like button if you liked it. Thank you so much for watching and do subscribe.